okay now for the guys who are interested in the robotics industry and the heavy equipment industry so mvd is also used over here wherein uh, you can see in these animations so the cad geometry of this robotic arm it can be directly imported from any of the cad softwares into the mbd and then the joints and motions need to be created here and once that is done you can simulate the robotic arm so that you can pick up this box so this trajectory can be defined in motion view basically using a curve and once this is defined we can uh, get to the simulation of it wherein we can analyze the forces that is required to pick up this box by this robotic arm and we can also analyze uh, with what uh, velocity this has to travel and what and how much time it can pick up this box all these uh, analysis can be done easily in mbd and also in the second animation over here we can see that there is a crane mechanism and you can calculate the stresses that are induced in this arm but these uh, uh, this arm here it should be modeled using flexible bodies so i'll come to that uh, in a while wherein what the difference between the rigid bodies and the flexible bodies and why we need to use flexible bodies and stuff so yeah you can get the stresses that are generated in this uh, arm um, so that's one of the examples I'm giving here. And we can also set up some DOE, that's the design of experiments in MBD tools. So to perform the sensitivity analysis, such as the length, the proper length, and the width of this arm that has to be uh, created. Like if you want to change the design to make it more optimized, then you can do some DOE analysis in MBD itself to finalize the most optimum design for this particular model. So all these things can be done using MBD. And now coming to the last applications. So those who are in the medical industry, so it's also, uh, MBD is also advancing into the medical industries in the field of orthopedics, human locomotion, and injury biomechanics. So for instance, in injury biomechanics, MBD is used to create a dummy of a human uh, sitting in a car. And then we can do a crash analysis to analyze the damage that is caused due to this crash on the various parts of human body. So this analysis will be basically using a combination of FEA and MBD. So this is like the wide range of domains what, uh, MBD, where MBD is used in. So let's move on to the evolution of uh, multiboy dynamics. So how it's evolved through the years. So traditionally, multiboy dynamics used to only deal with the rigid body dynamics. Hence, it was not very popular. So here, uh, the results were kind of uh, not very accurate. And also in the cases of simulations involving large deformations and displacements, it, the rigid body dynamics couldn't handle that. So, and the main thing is rigid body dynamics also couldn't capture the stress and strain effects. Like what, what I was just trying to explain earlier, they couldn't uh, accommodate the stress and strain effects on the parts. So thus the usage of MBD was limited a uh, few years ago because of this technical barrier. But however, with the discovery of flexible bodies, MBD simulation has gained new importance and it's began to uh, expand its scope. So more and more industries and engineers have become in increasingly interested in MBD and also the flexible bodies. So because the flexible bodies can capture both large deformation as well as the stress and strain effects and also produce accurate and more robust results when compared to the rigid body dynamics. And the core simulation, this is uh, right now, it's in an era of core simulation wherein the engineer they're trying to, engineers are trying to merge the 3D world and the MBD world. So, uh, and the 1D world. So what I mean by that, I'll be coming to that in a few slides later about the co-simulation. So I will give you more details on that in the upcoming slides. And lastly, coming to the user subroutines, this is mostly done by the advanced users. So this is basically defining functions which should help in automating a process and uh, it is increasing in number in these days because people are moving towards automa uh, automation. So this is how MBD has evolved over years from rigid body dynamics to the use of subroutines.